Hey guys, welcome back to Living in the Mom Lane. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Mandy. I am venturing out today. Today is, I'm not even sure what the date is, to be honest. <laughs> um, it's Friday. I don't know. I don't even know what, what today is. Oh my goodness. haven't been since my last big haul. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it at the top and I'll link it down in the description for you. Um, so I haven't been out. I'm not sure what everything looks like, what it, the stores, if they're starting to get stocked up again. So we shall see. So I'm gonna go to Aldi first and what I can't get from Aldi, then I may go over to Publix. Um, I know they had some pretty good BOGO deals going on right now, if they have the items that is BOGO. But, um, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see what everything is like. I had said in my last video that I would be going back to work this coming week because I was off for spring break. However, whenever I had my little cold or whatever it was, I had a temperature, it was 99.2. And I was I had a little bit of a cough, but I it was mostly from the post-nasal drip. Do I think I had corona? No, I don't, I, I don't. Because it, I mean, I literally was sick with that for just a couple of days and that was it. But, to play it safe, I did tell my supervisor about it. I told him, you know, I honestly feel like this is allergies. And then I got to thinking, the temperature, I mean like, any common person could run 99. Um, like I wouldn't give that any thought at all, but because of everything that's going on, I thought that I should mention it to my supervisor. I was, because if it were the coronavirus, I would never be able to forgive myself if it were, and I still went and saw patients and I got one of my patients sick because I do work with the elderly. I would never be able to forgive myself for that. So I wanted to play it safe. So the week I was off for spring break, um, Actually, today is Friday the 27th. I'm still off for spring break, but I was supposed to work Monday and Tuesday of this week, and I didn't because of the little cold symptoms that I had in the 99.2. Well, my supervisor texted me yesterday, and he was like, you know, because of what you told me and everything, I need you to not work next week as well. So that, let's say one of my patients ended up getting the virus, you know, we would be able to say that I followed the two week self quarantine um, instructions, whatever. So I will actually be off next week as well. And doing home health, um, I don't get paid. If I don't see a patient, I don't get paid. So, yeah. So this coming week, um, I won't be working. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of more cleaning videos because <laughs> I desperately need to clean my house. But I'm on one hand, I'm I'm not sad about it because this week coming will be Isabella's actual first real week of doing the homeschool um, things on the computer and stuff, and I'll be able to help with that. Now, after next week, she has to go to the shop with Jason, and she'll be doing her work there. So, you know, things happen for a reason. I'm a firm believer of that. So I'm just hoping that this will help us and help Bella understand what she's supposed to do. That way when she goes to the shop, she can do it on her own. And, you know, cause Jason's gonna be working, hopefully. Um, hopefully 
business doesn't slow down for him. Anyways, I will show you guys everything that I get whenever I get back home. Okay, so I am back from Aldi and I got almost every single thing on my list from Aldi. They were very well stocked. Some of the canned green beans were gone. Um, of course, no toilet paper, no paper towels, which I don't need any of that anyways right now. So that was all gone. Uh, the meat was pretty well picked over, which I don't need any meat. Um, I did get a couple of things of meat, but at, from Publix. So after Aldi, I went over to Publix. So everything is starting to get stocked back up. Aldi did have limits on things though. Like your canned goods, they were all limit to two. And then the bread was limited to two. Although I was able to get three loaves, um, there wasn't a limit on the regular loaves of bread. They didn't have a sign. So I don't know if they weren't limiting that or if it was just like the specialty breads. I'm not sure. The specialty breads had a limit of two. Things that were really selling out quickly, those were limited to two. So let me flip you around. I'll show you everything that I got from Aldi and then I will show you everything I got from Publix. So I'm gonna first show you, I couldn't, I didn't have room up there. So this is the bread that I got three loaves of. Um, this is only 85 cents at Aldi. So I got three loaves of that. One is for my mother-in-law. I also got two dozen eggs and that's for my mother-in-law. And then they had a ton of the zero net carb bread, but it was limited to two. And I was like, oh, I'm so tempted to go out to the car and then come back in and get two more because I love this bread and it is so hard to find. So I may have my husband go into Aldi and get some if he will, I don't know. But I got two of those. One, I will go ahead and freeze. So that's what's in that bag. And then coming on up here, I got two gallons of regular 2% milk for Amelia. And then they wanted some ice cream, so I got them ice cream sandwiches. We don't have a cat, but my mother-in-law had a cat adopt them. <laughs> and I thought it would be fun for the girls to give the cat treats every now and then when they're down there. So I got a little bag of treats for the kitty cat. And I got some more heavy whipping cream and I got three cans of the cinnamon rolls for the girls for breakfast. I, on my meal plan, I've made a list of breakfast that I want to make, but Isabella really enjoys baking these on her own. She has finally worked up the courage to put things in and out of the oven. So I'm really proud that she's doing that now. So I went ahead and got three cans of those for her to make whenever she wants to. And I got a thing of Danimals uh, smoothies for both of the girls. They really enjoy those. And I got two of the cauliflower pizzas. Um, I got a cheese and then a pepperoni. And I thought, usually we do a pizza night sometimes, but right now I don't want to order out or anything like that. So I, um, Jason really liked the cauliflower crust pizza the last time I got one. So I went ahead and got one with pepperoni and we'll jazz that one up a little bit and put some black olives on it. That'll be for Jason and Bella. And then Amelia and myself, we only like the cheese. We're plain Jane, so <laughs> we only like cheese pizza. And Amelia's almost out of her peanuts. She really likes the Mr. Peanuts, but to me a peanut is a peanut. So I got some more peanuts from Aldi. And then I got a box of corn muffin mix and some uh, Moscato wine. I love that Moscato wine. It is really good and for, I think it was like $2.50, so you can't beat that for a bottle of wine and it's good. Um, they did have spaghetti, so I went ahead and got a box of that because I am running a little bit low on my spaghetti. I always like to have spaghetti in my little OXO container, but I like to have a backup as well. And that has nothing to do with the virus right now. I just like to have a backup because we um, we do fix spaghetti a lot. Bella likes to make pasta, so I like to have a backup on that. And I got um, two cans of the black beans, two cans of the chili. Uh, actually, I got four cans of those, but because they were different 
brands, I was able to get two cans of each. And then I got Amelia and Bella some more mandarin oranges and some more diced tomatoes. And then I also got this big baguette bread. Um, I forgot to get the really good butter though. Breakstone, I think is what it's called from Publix when I was there. So we'll have to use the Kerrygold, which is fine. And I also got some more cereal for the girls, just Honey Nut Cheerios and then Aldi's brand of Lucky Charms. And I got some more Ritz crackers or the Aldi brand of Ritz crackers. I got some more Unstoppables. I'm almost completely out. So I got some more of those at Aldi. And then a pineapple and some more red seedless grapes. I got the girls some mac and cheese. They really like Aldi's brand of mac and cheese. And usually they have the Olive Garden dressing, but they didn't have the Olive Garden Italian. So I went ahead and picked up their brand. I hope it's good. I got some Gala apples. I got two bags of onions. I'm gonna be making a lot of different foods that require onions this week. And some red, ra red raspberries. What other color of raspberries are there? <laughs> I got some raspberries and some blackberries. And then I did get the kids asked for some potato chips. And so I went ahead and got the potato chips and then the wavy kind of chips and tortilla chips. Um, they didn't have any regular pasta like in the box or anything. So I picked up four of these. These were 25 cents each. So I got four of those. And then two heads of lettuce. I'm gonna do some side salads this week with some of our meals some red, red, oh my goodness, what is wrong with me today? Some green bell peppers and celery. And then I got three of the English cucumbers, cucumbers and a pack of carrots. I'm gonna be making some soup this week, so I needed carrots for that. And some more grape tomatoes. I got a pack of ham for sandwiches. And I'm gonna be making a charcuterie board uh, this this week sometime for the girls and some bologna and I love this stuff pimento cheese the zesty jalapeno it is so good I love it I make sandwiches with it I, or I'll put it in a low carb tortilla and roll it up and eat it that way it is good on celery and I'm sure it would be good on crackers too but usually I either put it on the zero carb bread or the low carb tortillas. And then I went ahead and got two packs of hot dogs and I got four packs of the mild cheddar cheese. I was thinking about freezing some, but then I thought, you know what? We go through it so fast. There's no sense in me freezing it. And then for the charcuterie board, I got some of the Gouda um, square cheese. And I hadn't seen this before at Aldi, but it's a little, um, Usually I get the jar of ghee, but I saw this and thought, and it was a little bit cheaper than the jar. So I went ahead and got that because I am get, getting a little bit low on the ghee. And I got two packs of frozen peas and two packs of frozen corn. These are for some recipes coming up next week. I got two packs of cream cheese and Amelia really liked the Gouda sticks. So I got her another pack of the Gouda cheese and then the habanero jack cheese. And I thought it would be fun for the girls to make some cookies for Easter. Well, not really for Easter. Easter's still a little bit away, but um, just to bake some cookies. So that is everything from Aldi. And I will leave the price on the screen because I don't remember what it was. I want to say 180, but I'm not sure. So that's all from Aldi. Let me get the cold stuff put up and then I'll put out my Publix stuff and show you that. Okay, so here is my Publix haul. The 7-Up products and the Coke products were all buy two, get two free. So I got four of the Diet A&W and four of the Coke Zero. Actually, I got three of the regular Coke Zero and then one of the cherry. They only had one cherry left. And then I got the yogurt smoothies for the girls. Um, I saw these on one of Jen Chapin's videos and I actually messaged her this morning and was like, hey, what was the brand that you got for Connor? 
So I went ahead and picked them up some of that. I wasn't sure if I was gonna go to Publix or not. So I ended up getting the Danimals and those, but I thought they could try that. And if they like those, then these are probably better than the Danimals. Um, so I'll start getting that for them. And I got two whole chickens. These are gonna be in an upcoming video that with everything going on, this video is really gonna help a lot of people. So make sure that you're subscribed and you have your notification bell turned on. I'm really super excited to share this video with you guys. So I got two whole chickens. I wanted to get a turkey. They had no turkeys. Well, they had turkeys, but it was only the turkey breast. And I wanted like lots of bones. So <laughs> you'll see in the video. These were buy one, get one free. I don't know why I got these. I guess for the girls, they like donut holes. They like donuts, they like sweets. So I got those just for them to snack on or whatever. And the pasta was buy one, get one free. They actually were very well stocked on their pasta. I was very surprised. So I got four boxes of those. This is another pasta that we like to keep on hand for making pasta salad. And this is the kind that uh, Isabella likes to make. And eat with just the butter on it. She'll eat the spaghetti kind as well, but she really likes that kind better. And I I don't like these, but my husband does and the girls do. So they were buy one, get one free. So I got a Reese's and then the Crunch. I don't know if I got the right flavor, but it is what it is. They'll have to just like it. And then y'all, I have not had anything to eat today and it is 6.15 in the evening and I still have not had anything to eat. I've had coffee and that's it. And I went to the store hungry, obviously, and I saw the carrot cake. So that's mine. <laughs> I wanted strawberries at Aldi, but Aldi didn't have any. So this was one of the things I actually went into Publix for was strawberries and they were two for $5. So I got two containers of those. Jason requested some more bananas and Aldi didn't have any. So I got these from Publix. And then I needed some rubbed sage for one of the chickens. Um, actually, I got it for the turkey, but then I couldn't find the turkey. They didn't have what I wanted, so we'll still use it on the chicken. And I got two of the Too Good um, yogurt for myself and my pepperoni. Y'all know I love my Publix pepperoni. So I got some of that. So that'll be for that charcuterie board that I'm going to make. And then Isabella was all out of tuna. I didn't want these huge cans, but Amelia likes tuna. Don't mind my thumb. I painted my toenails earlier. Um, anyways, Amelia likes tuna now. So this will be, this will work fine. Isabella can eat it and then um, Amelia can have some of it as well. But Jason really likes the tuna in vegetable oil instead of the water. It is really hard to find it in the vegetable oil. So he says it's not as dry. I don't know, I don't really eat tuna out of the can, but they really like this. So they had four cans left. So I went ahead and got all four of the cans because Bella really likes her tuna and she eats this a lot. So I went ahead and got that for her. I did get a couple more cans of diced tomatoes because if you remember, Aldi was um, limiting only two cans, so I use diced tomatoes all the time. So I went ahead and got four more cans of diced tomatoes. And that is it for Publix. Publix total, I remember it because it was $80 even. That's crazy, I don't think I've ever done that before. So I hope you guys enjoyed this grocery haul. Um, like I said, the, the shelves were pretty well stocked. Some of the things were picked over, the meat was picked over. Some of the canned veggies were picked over, but for the most part, they are starting to get stocked back up, which is really good. Kind of gives you a little peace of mind there, knowing that they're getting stocked back up. So, um, like I said, I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe, tap on the bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.